peace, peace, peace to all the gods and goddesses of the planet, peace to all the kings and queens, peace to all the princes and princesses. Welcome back to the page of No Front of Bo, the spiritual god, you know. I just want to, first off, we're going to, you know, open up correctly. I got the sage burning, of course. This one today I got burning is, uh, this the lavender one. I like to switch it up. Last time I had the, I think I had a um, sunflower. Today we're going with the lavender. It's just been the lavender type of couple of weeks, you know. And I am in this in the state of Texas, and we currently just had a um, a tropical storm, which they now calling in a hurricane, category one hurricane, which. They didn't necessarily announce, but they was announcing that it was a tropical storm at first. But they're not, they're not announcing that it's a, that it was a hurricane. And I'm, if this the first time you're hearing it, just know that it was a hurricane. Hurricane Barrel or whatever they want. They give it all these names. And you got to look into the names of what they... Because the name just not a name. A lot of these be star systems and things of that sort. So never look too surface level. Always look into all the little information, all the information that they do give you, so you can have a better understanding of what's really going on in your everyday life. Because technically, if they would have caught the hurricane, they would have to do certain precautions that come with the hurricane. We would have took different measures into preparing for a hurricane and things of that sort. So. Just know they don't do stuff for no reason. It's always a reason behind everything that they do. And a lot of times it's not them. Sometimes they create these hurricanes and these storms and they send it our way so, you know, we can get swept under and not be prepared for it. So with that being said, I do want to send out, you know, high vibrations to everyone that was affected. Cause me too, I was affected, you know, I, it wasn't perfect on my end. I had no lights, no AC for you know, a couple of days. And yeah, it was hot, nigga sweating, everything. And I'm just happy that the stuff is back on and we back rocking, cause I don't know how, you know, I couldn't have gone a couple of day, more days longer. It would have been that shoe. And it's crazy, cause it's the little J, they was just talking about apocalyptic type stuff. And you know, everything be manifesting, you know, based on our perception and what we see, you know, we can manifest a lot that's going on. And it was very, you know, in a couple more days, shoot, people would have run around stealing and everything, I'm quite sure. So they take it up to a certain point, and then they kind of just like gotta let off the let off the gas pedal because they know it's gonna turn into something else. Yeah, but with that being said, like I said, everyone in Texas, I'm sending a high vibration to y'all, all the gods and guys, because I know we was all going through it. And I'm glad we just, you know, out the um the midst of it and we kinda back to the the bright side. Now we're just kinda working on all the businesses and stuff kinda getting back right because I'm quite sure a lot of, you know, uh poetry or whatever they wanna call it. I'm quite sure a lot of stuff got spoiled and all that kind of stuff. So we still kinda recovering from the the gifs of it. Yeah, the hurricane is over, but we still got the the drag effect of everything that was still affected by it and that includes us you know we miss days of work so it's going to affect that's going to affect um the next couple of weeks so we still gonna have to bounce back from that so even though the storm is past we still got a lot of stuff that we have to you know get through what they were saying over like two point i think definitely over two million people had no lights and that was like for like two or three days. I know mine's had went out. I think the storm hit, um, the storm hit Sunday, like Sunday night, going into Monday. Monday, no lights, you feel me? Tuesday, completely no lights. Today, Wednesday, and it came back on just this morning, like, so, which I seen a flutter, it fluttered, like, last night. Excuse me. And um, let me just pause it. It it flooded last night, and it kind of wanted to come back on, but then it, it kind of just had went off, and I was just like, 
Oh, well, so I just went to sleep, you know. I ain't really too much tripping because my room naturally be hot, but that was another different type of hot angle. I at least had a little fan running for most of the day. My little AC cooling it down, but then <clears throat> at night, but I'm like, dang, you feel me? Like, it's crazy. I'm finna go out that now, get out there, and have to get me some shoes. I'm talking about all the food places closed. The, the, uh, the gas stations was kind of, I'm just blessed. My little gas station by my house, it was kind of giving out food. So I went to the Galleria Mall yesterday and shoot, I had to charge my phone up because I'm just like, I gotta have my phone charged. I gotta have some kind of something, you feel me? So Galleria Mall was a good, so I, I went there and it just, everybody was still just shopping and stuff like one done, so. <laughs> it crazy, nobody really be taking stuff serious. And it's just like, it's sad but true, but you know, everybody got their own separate lives and that's why I say I have a bracelet to everybody because I really ain't heard too many people just, you know, talking about it too much. Like it was just something that just, you know how social media is. Nobody like to talk about none of the bad, but you always hear the good. And I just had to keep it real with my family, you know, at all times. But on a different note, you know, I have to open it up with the current events and everything. I'm gonna just jump right into the lesson because although some people might look at it at a negative conspect of uh, what was going on, I like to look at things, you know, I started reading it more. I pulled out some books that I hadn't pulled out in a while. This one was by uh, Susan, Susan Bryant, The Dawning of the Moon, The Dawning Moon of the Mind, and I just was looking into that, which I had the book for a while, but I didn't finish reading it. And it's uh, basically about hieroglyphics and like, hieroglyphics and also the, the the wording and also the the actual picture versions. So I was reading that, you know, it kind of opened my mind up to different aspects because as the mind works, you know, it's like a muscle, you gotta work it out. And it just helped me in my physical life also in my uh in my spiritual in whenever the astral projections and things of that whenever i'm doing those things you can retain more light you can retain more energy when you're going into these different forms because you are working that mind muscle and that's what you take with you is a lot of that that uh serpent energy which they don't like to hear the word serpent i still hear like people scared of the word serpent and things of that sort which I'm not trying to be here to change nobody's mind or nothing like that. I'm just here to spare my truth and give y'all how I really feel about this stuff. So basically, the serpent is the coming from the Egyptians, which I, they talk about the the serpents and all this kind of stuff. And their um the snakes, they talk about this and their um their religion. Not so much a religion, how we think of religion, but religion was much like everyday life. It's stuff that you live by. So in their religion, the serpent was simply the the heat and the uh, fire, which is inside of you. And it could be considered to come from your spine. It's that the energy that's rising inside of you that you take with you whenever you transcend or when you when you die, things of that sort, which you never really die. Our, no energy can be destroyed. It's only transferred, you know, no energy can be destroyed. So your energy is simply transferred. You can either it can go to a star system, wherever your energy is needed, at whatever type of energy that you use. You know, energy is energy. We never really understand energy. They don't understand electricity. Speaking into that, you know, the storm we had, they don't really understand electricity because if they did, it could have been on faster. You know, things of that sort. We can't have this wireless energy. We still going by quartz, quartz type energy, which was invented in the 1900s, when we gonna go to this wireless energy, which we use every day, we're not connected to nothing, but we we being energized. What is this invisible energy that's that you're using that helps you uh, animate your body? What is this energy, this wireless energy? And that's a lot of what the um logistics was going into. This energy, I'm not saying. That, I don't go by one religion. I don't fall into one category. I'm all um, is what is. I'm a God, you know, at the end of the day. And at the beginning of the day. 
when the sun rises and when it sets, you know, I just believe I'm this I'm a God, you know, creator of all. And not not the creator of this illusion that we are currently in because we were here before the illusion. The creator of the illusion is the enemy. You know, the, the creator of this illusion is the enemy. And you gotta know that. He don't want the serpent to rise inside you. That's why they make you reincarnate inside of these physical bodies if you don't know the truth of what's going on. You're gonna continue to come to this light when the true is the triple, the triple darkness of space. You know, and you have to know these things in order to transcend. You have to be at a certain spiritual level in order to break, break past the barriers and the blockades that they have on this realm. Because like I said, in plenty of videos, nothing can be done on the physical, on this physical plane without first conveying the subconscious mind. You can't do things that you don't really believe that you can do. Basically what that means. That's why when I actually project, you can only actually project in these, because when you're at a certain vibrational level, physical matter doesn't really exist. Unless we're trying to manifest it inside of our physical lives and we have the purpose of doing that. Which I ran into this in my own astral projection. I've done these things. I'll be helping people in other in other in other um lives which cause we know we have plenty of versions of ourselves. We are plentiful. We guys, we have many versions of our own self. I help my other selves when I buy astral project. I'm able, let's just say, I can tell you about the real one that happened the other day. You know, I was actually projecting and it was a, a real big ocean. And I was able to use my star body to go and to help this other physical me that was going through his own tribe and tribulations. His or her, because I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, because all I see is perspective. I didn't necessarily see a mirror effect of knowing if it's a boy or a girl. But I used to feel like it's a boy because it's a certain type of energy that you go when you're doing it, you know, you is who you is, you know, even in different uh, physical lives. So let's just say he was going through his mission in the ocean and he needed certain uh, materials. So I gave him the, um, the breathing tank and the, a freaking spear you know, the underwater spear. Also, it was just different things that he needed. And I gave him the physical version of it. Let's just say that this is the breathing tank, which is a lighter, but you just use your imagination. I gave him the breathing tank, placed it into it because I couldn't see the water and all these type of things because those are slow vibrating uh, atoms. So I didn't see none of the physical water. So I go straight to the bottom of the ocean they moving so slow that I just placed this object in, in the bottom of the um, tank, which was water. So whenever I placed some items down there, I then translated it back into his, I went into his physical version of his life. And then there were materials that I placed there from a higher standpoint. So basically what that meaning, you know, in layman's terms, in simple terms, your higher self are, is giving you these things, which is you. Your higher self are giving you these physical material items that you will need in order to help you get through your mission. So don't ever feel like you're alone because your higher self is always there helping you, you know, at all times. They just say these books and things like that. He placed me up in front of me so that I can use it. It's a reason behind everything. Your higher self is simply guiding you and helping you get to the next level, helping you get past these missions in life. So don't ever feel like you're alone. We all connected. As well as, you know, but beyond that, you just have to know these things in order so you won't feel so alone. You won't feel like you need so many people. Whenever I started having these visual realizations, I don't, I don't need as many people. I don't need as many physical items because I know that I have exactly what I need to proceed with my mission because he making it as easy as possible you have everything you need all you have to do is want to go down that tunnel 
Don't be afraid of the dark and go down that tunnel because you have to notice you're not by yourself. And this light at the end of the tunnel is the ultimate mission, which you're going to have to face. But then once you face it, you can also help others face it. You can, like how I am now, I can help others be not so afraid to go down a mission on their own, you know? Once you see the true light, once you see what, what it really is, you know, I also had a realization the Saber Star, which the Egyptian had the initial SBA, which we already know what the SBA is. As far as um government, the SBA, which stands for the, uh, which I had to use, it's just basically like a, a governmental funding which if you know the SBA, then you know the SBA. Or if you don't, you can look into it yourself. Simply look at SBA.gov. Boop, boop. Just like that. And then you'll know what the SBA is. And this one, you go into your so much, your Buddha phase. Which is simply to know. When you think of these simply words, you don't want to, you don't want to think of the consultation that they give you. Come up with your own interpretation of these words know the true meaning of a lot of these words that they're trying to give you. Who are you at the end of the day? I am a child of the starry dawn, the starry dawn. You know, it's simply, we have a tether to our true star system because we are all stars. And like I've said in, in different uh, videos, every star which is Tekim, which is the heavy star material that stars are made out of. T-E-K-E-M, Tekim. Every star has its own unique shape and orbit. And then once you come into terms with this, you will not try to be so much like everybody else and try to do the same thing that everybody else does. You That's when you become a trendsetter. And that's when your true light can actually shine because you're not trying to be like everybody else. You simply being who you are because you have your own orbit, your own path, your own mission that you have to orbit around. You have your own shape. Why are you trying to be like, follow trends and all this when you're your own star? When you don't follow the trends, that's when you, be and you stick with that, that's when you become what everybody else want to be. And that's, you know, that's real right there. So just know that and then you will have a more simpler path. Your mission is not like everybody else's mission because you have your own orbit. Some some stars, which stars are just planets, or galaxies, and just different things of that sort. But let's just talk about our own star system, our own system that they do give us, the little information that they do give us. Let's just say Mars versus Earth. They have two different... Um, patterns around so-called around the sun so how can earth compare itself to mars when mars has its own mission and earth has its own mission its own orbit they two different you and you can't try to be like earth you're not from earth you know because a lot of the energy that some people are receiving coming from a different planetary system so you can't really compare your year to somebody else's year because they year it might have came fast Yours might take a little longer because you kind of a longer revolution. So you have to just know that your, um, that your path is not the same as others. When we look into these different stars, which are the souls of the dead, the tears of the dead. So basically what this may mean, when your soul, your soul coming from these stars and where it come from, that's where it's going to return to. Just like it gave the energy away, it's going to put energy back. And it's kind of like a pulsation. A pulsation is simply just a, a little feedback. It's a tether. Like I said, you're tethered to, these, to this star that you are from. And like I said, it's the stars that are dead. So people who come from that star system, like I said, energy can't be destroyed. It's only transferred. Uh, it's basically like a recycling system. You are your ancestors. That's why I said these, the person who owned this reality in this realm, he did not complete his full energy cycle. 
he tried to like do his own thing and he broke away from the mother uh newt whatever you want to call her he broke away from this the star system so he basically went against the universal laws and nobody is above the law nobody is above the universal laws so whenever they broke away whenever he broke away from the system created his own realm we had to come down here as light beings we had to come down here use our energy to now tether with the earth to get it back to where it's supposed to be before he came down here and created all this stuff because it's not what it was supposed to be in the first place it wasn't no stars and stuff like this because it was all energy how can you sense a star <clears throat> who is the one perceiving it how does a moon know it's a moon they have to have somebody to perceive it if not it just is what it is you know it just is but then once we came down here we perceive stuff we put a name on stuff we give certain knowing that we are the gods we are these certain stars how can us you know if we are okay how a star going to say another person is a star if we all want we all just is you know and at the end of the day we see it as a star but it's really you could be looking at mars you could be looking at saturn but people so close-minded on this uh, realm they it's like having amnesia you forgot who you is you will start yourself, but you, you know, it's even on, on earth plane. You get a certain people more um, power over you when y'all are the same. Now, if you above and you're looking down, you're like, oh, all them just ants. But one of the ants talking about, oh, this ant bigger, this ant bigger. No, this ant got more popularity. Like, why does any of that stuff matter if we all, these people bleed, do everything like you do? No, no one is above the other. And once you come to this realization, that's when you break away from this so-called reality. Because I be in different realities all the time that's not part of this reality. So what is reality? What is true, true reality? You know, at the end of the day, it's all one. We all tethered together. The fire-breathing dragon of heat and light. That's what I was talking about earlier, this serpent, this dragon, this rising light that the Egyptians was always talking about, this light of Eunice that's rising from him, which Eunice was one of the, Eunice had a, one of the temples, one of the earliest temples in uh, Egypt. So up in this temple that was going down, they reading the hieroglyphics on the wall and Eunice is the hawk, Eunice is the falcon, Eunice is the moon, Eunice is all. We are Eunice. We are united. We are everything. We are the gods of everything, the creators of everything. Because even if he created this reality, he still created this reality from the source. You feel me? It's like nothing known to the sun. How can you create something that you stole from somebody else? Which they still doing it to this day. And saying it's theirs and all this stuff. But how can you, if we was the creators of the universe and we had this certain deity that broke away, but he's still using our materials to create his universe, it's still our universe. All you do is try to finesse it and create and say that it's yours. Like, no, that's not what's going on. That's why we have to come down here. Like, we ain't going for that. Like, we are spiritual warriors. And as spiritual warriors, we're going to do what we got to do. You know Because as I'm going into these different realities, I'm seeing the truth, like, the truth of what it is. Like, you are, you have the riches of everything that you ever want. All you have to do is truly, your subconscious is going to work with you because it can't happen. This realm is so slowed down because he used the, he using material, old material, not so much old materials, but he used the materials that are still not the full potential of what they were. He using certain materials that he finessed. Like I said, when he did that, he tried to finesse a lot of stuff. And you have to look into these, uh, last night I was watching The Highlander, which I've been trying to get around to this movie for a while. So with The Highlander, he had to realize that he was immortal. And as an immortal being, even with the ink, I looked into the ink, because the book talk about the ink a lot. 
which if you don't know the Anki, you have to look it up, but it's basically like a circle, and then it has the line going down, which, you know, you should better, you know, imagine that, and if you know, you know, and if you don't know, look it up, Google it, shit. <laughs> so with the ink, they looked at the, um, the symbolism of it, the circle with the hand, and then the line going down was simply the, um, the throat which is the head connecting the, to the body. What is connecting the body to the head is simply the throat. It's the passageway. It's what gets the water. It's like the, it's like the Nile River, you feel me? The body of water connected to the, the other body of water. What connects it is simply the throat chakra. So that's simply what the ink represented was life and also just beyond life, you know, because every hieroglyphic has different meanings behind it. It's like words in English. One word can mean 10 different things. It's simply like that with hieroglyphics. So, once you look into these things, and you can do your own research, hopefully I'm just like, each video I just try to break the barriers between what you feel like is reality and what the true reality is. Because reality can be different perspective. There is no one reality. There is no one you. You have different yous. And when I see people in these different realities, they seem more happy and things of that sort. I see the different versions of them that they don't get to see, you know? So I just try to bring them to their realization that they are bigger than what they think that they are. And we all are, you know? Even I have to come to their realization. But once you know you know that this fire breathing dragon is inside of you you have to just become you have to know that it's there and don't be a scared don't be scared of the serpent don't let them because they, they use hermes and different things in medicine if you looked at the um the sign of with this which is the staff with the snake wrapped around it that was simply hermes which was an egyptian deity egyptian god that they still look up to the Egyptians, even if they don't want to admit it. One of the biggest things in the world, medicine, you know, technology coming up, but still is medicine at the end of the day because people are going forever. As long as they thinking that this realm is uh, bigger than them, they gonna forever need medicine. See me, I can go to my higher self. I ain't been sick not one day this year because I come to the realization that I am the God and I, you create the, the dis-ease in your body. They make it one word, dis-ease, but it's really a dis-ease. Your body is not at ease. You don't, you still looking for the truth and all this stuff. You are at dis-ease, the cells in your body is looking for the truth. They know what it is, but your mind is fighting with it. Because you have to know that the body it was here before the mind. You know, the body came first, and then your conscious sparked into it at this certain level. You know, which the cell's been alive, but the body had to form itself first. Then that's when the spark comes. So don't be afraid of the serpent. Just know that the serpent is your spine, that your kundalini energy rising, so that when you do transcend, your body can go. You know, this 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 fire can really rise in you. But if you don't, if you haven't come to the realizations of your certain chakras in your body, you can't make this uh, energy rise inside of you which we'll go into that in another video. But just know that Egyptians studied uh, astro astrology and things of that sort. One of the, the Great Pyramid of Giza, right under the North Star, aligned with the North Star. Because they knew that the North Star, one of the, it is the brightest uh, star in the sky, along with these three other main stars that we were going to one of them being, uh, cause you got, you got the North Star, then one of the stars that you always see is the Big Dipper. Why do you, I've always seen the Big Dipper from even when I was a child. I'm wondering what is this, it seems like it follows you. Because it is one of the main stars in the star system, it's not going nowhere. It's closer to the North Star, so as it's orbiting, you gonna always see it because we are simply at a point of fixed position. Yeah, they like to say we spinning around, but if you were spinning around, why do we always see the same star system every day? 
the North Star gonna always be there. You can always look up in the sky and see the North Star at all times. Yeah, and they said think of the North Star as more of a, if the sky is a time clock, just think of the North Star as the middle center point. You know, on a watch, you got the center point, then you have the clock. You got one hand and the other hand coming from it, the long hand and the short hand coming from it. That middle point, North Star, and going up a little bit gonna be your Big Dipper. It's always spinning around. You always gonna see it. <laughs> Never going nowhere. You can look up every night, you gonna see the North Star. You gonna see the North Star and you gonna also see the Big Dipper. And most of the time you can see the Small Dipper too. But a lot of the other ones like the Taurus Rising and Sirius, you see them, but they come around. That's why we can have these strong manifestation during certain seasons. They knew that certain seasons was gonna be fruitful based on, you know, the different ones. Either the summer social is gonna hit or it's gonna be a fruitful because these certain systems help water rise inside of our galaxy. It helps the water rise inside of you. You know, that's why your your imaginations might be better and different things of different sorts. But with that being said, family, we talked about a good a good amount today and I just really wanted people not to be so and the reason I talk about the serpent so much today cause I seen I looked at a video earlier today and it seemed like all the people still tell me they said it's a serpent and a serpent is a devil and all these things like we got old people old here still thinking that the serpent's a devil y'all supposed to be the most knowledgeable people we supposed to be getting the information for y'all and but y'all still thinking that the serpent is a devil if anything anything on this planet you know, came from our materials. We are the guys that fell asleep and fell, you know. But like Bobby Hammond always say, if you um turn the hourglass upside down, everything that was at the top came from as above, so below. Everything that was at the top came to the bottom because we had to come down here to change this stuff up. So the guys that you're praying to, it ain't no guys up there no more. Who you're praying to is the people who are around you. Why are you praying to somebody at the table when your mama was the one created, who created the food and created the, the opportunity for you to eat, but you praying to somebody else? Tell your mama thank you. Tell your dad thank you. Tell the people who, the gods around you thank you. Like, when the lights come back on, why would I'm praying to God when God didn't create the lights back on? The electrician man created the lights back on because if he didn't do his job, we still wouldn't have no lights right now. So I pray to the people who are really around you, these stars that are with you, because we are the stars. The stars that you see in the sky are simply projections of your mind, projections of the people who are down here right now. God is walking among you. God is probably standing right next to you and you give him no acknowledgement. We are the gods. But with that being said, peace to all the gods and goddesses of the planet, the kings and the queens, the prince and the princesses who are rising stars, who are rising, these serious rising stars, the stars of the future. Know that everything that's happening on earth is a reflection of what's happening on in the heavens. Heaven is, the holy place is where you stand. Ain't no holy place. The holy place is wherever you at. You don't have to go to because even when you think about it, my fault, I have to stop there right now. Because I you know I got to say this type of stuff. You never know when's the last time. And you know, we live forever, you feel me? <clears throat> but if we know that Pangea happened and the Earth's mass was all one at one point, why do we always think that Africa and all this stuff was the starting point of everything? If we know that the Earth at one point was all one, we was here when the when the um when the dinosaurs was here, when the everything happened, we've always been here. That's why you're finding underwater uh underwater temples and all that, because we could breathe underwater. We could create these temples underwater easily. We could breathe. It was people that are shaped just like us and all that simply down there doing the same thing they doing on land because it ain't like they had some freaking breathing tubes or something down there. They didn't need none of that because they knew that they was gods. They knew that they was the creators. 
And once you realize that you're the creator, once you realize that you are truly immortal, then you won't need none of that either because you will be able to go down there and breathe the breathe the air. Because it ain't no because water is only a slower vibration. And once you are above that, you can be able to go down there. Yeah, other people will see it as you're in water, but you will not see it as you're in water because you would be vibrating so high that water is such a slow vibrating molecule that you will not it will not affect your high vibrational body at all. So know that. And with that being said, like I said, Pangea truly happened and we was all one landmass. We was all one at one point and it simply broke apart. It ain't no one landmass that's above another landmass. It was all one. Like it don't make sense. Like why do people keep saying that Africa was the start and all this if it was all one? Africa was simply a branch off of the one. The United States is, was a branch off of the one. All these other different um, continents and countries, they was all broken off of the one. So just know that it was all one. So we can stop looking at it like that so much and know that, like I said, the holy ground is the place where you stand. And with that being said, I say, I say, I say, peace to all the gods and gods of the planet, peace to all the kings and queens, peace to all the princes and princesses. Until next time, now you rise, family. I say, I say, I say.